All right, so we move spots. Oh, we're about to get waked out. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> so, of course, I missed the strike, but Vinny just nailed. We've been catching weak fish, and weak fish at one point in Jamaica Bay were considered endangered, and they weren't here. You just couldn't catch them. Every once in a while, you would, and uh, you weren't allowed to keep them. Now the bag limit is one per person and they got to be 16 inches. We've been picking off 13 inch, 14 inch, but look at this beautiful fish. <laughs> move, move your giant hand out of the way. <laughs> so, that they... <laughs> so that's pretty cool. They're also called sea trout and squeeteags. That is the Native American name for them. But uh, they've come back in the bay about five years ago, and they're all here now. So <laughs> today turned out to be pretty good. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Clams. We are here on Long Island, and today we are making stuffed sea trout. So sea trout also goes by the name weak fish, and I'm not going to pronounce it right, but Sigatu? I'll have to check on that one, but that's the Native American name for it. Uh, the other day, my business partner and I went out fishing on his boat, and we were targeting porgy, and then we hit weak fish. They were all small, and he hit a keeper. It was my first keeper, his first keeper, the boat's first keeper. It was, I mean, I didn't get on camera us screaming. Uh, we calmed down, and then I filmed, which I'm kind of happy about, but uh, so, the weak fish actually made a huge comeback in New York. Um, they disappeared and they were thought to be almost extinct, which normally I wouldn't go after a fish that had that reputation. But in the last five years, they made such a comeback. The numbers are incredible. Uh, so I don't feel bad taking this one. Now, because it's called sea trout, I started thinking about trout, butterfly trout, stuffed trout, so that's what we're gonna do today. Also, look how beautiful this fish is. They are a gorgeous, gorgeous fish, white meat inside. They're not actually trout, they're in the croaker family. But because the name trout is there, I'm gonna butterfly it like a trout and we're gonna stuff it with Mediterranean flavors. So let's get to it. Okay, now that I got my sea trout butterflied, which I'm not gonna lie, I've only done that a couple of times, so I'm really happy that it came out good. I am gonna start working on our ingredients for the stuffing. Super, super simple Mediterranean flavors. Check it out. I have a tomato from my friend Josh's garden, some cherry peppers, some green Spanish olives, some black Kalamata olives, and a Vidalia onion. I forgot the garlic. I have to run inside and get the garlic. We cannot do this without garlic. After I get the garlic, we are going to throw this in the pan, marry everything together, and we're gonna let it simmer for a little while. We're not gonna hit it with high heat, but we just want everything to soften up and get nice together. Then we're gonna salt our sea trout filet and put the stuffing inside and then tie it with butcher's twine.
Okay, I will admit my uh, trussing needs a little bit of practice, um, but I think it looks pretty good. We lost a little bit of filling, but it'll be fine. So now we're gonna move the sea trout into a pan and it's going into an oven at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. This is sea trout, also known as weak fish. Okay. So they were big in Jamaica Bay, and then they... I don't think I've ever had sea trout. I've had trout. So I, I'm familiar with the consistency. But it's not trout. It's in the croaker family, but they call it sea trout because it's speckled. Okay. They call it sea trout, speckled trout. There are a lot of names, but... What they all translate to is delicious whitefish from Jamaica Bay. I think next time I would broil it just to get the skin a little bit crispier, but yeah, I don't mind it. The thing that I remember about trout, I mean, I haven't had it in a long time, but it's like silky meat. It's yeah. not, yeah, smooth. Mm-hmm. This is pretty similar to trout. Surprisingly. So I messed up and didn't record cutting off my uh, fine trussing string, but we know what that looks like. So the only thing I finished it with is a little bit of lemon zest and a little bit of lemon juice. I ended up baking it at 400 for exactly 20 minutes. And by the looks of it, it is cooked through perfectly. I'm here again with my mom. We're having a fall lunch of stuffed sea trout. I'll let you take the first couple bites. There might be a couple of bones just from the top, but it should be boneless pretty much. Tender as can be. Very flavorful. A nice punch to it. Delicious, Will. A little bit on the sweet side because of the Vidalia onion and the uh, the cherry peppers, but then salty from the olives. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Another winner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you have to visit more often. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode. If you like this one, please share it. Please hit like. Please subscribe. My mom and I are going to finish our lunch and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for subscribing.